It is an exciting day today. The delivery truck just dropped something off for the GTR. But let's go ahead and open up the garage and see what we got. No way. Yes, sir. We got an FI exhaust, boys. For the GTR, I'm so, so hyped. Super happy to be working with this company. And I can't wait to hear this exhaust on the GTR. It's going to absolutely scream. And I can't wait to show you guys. So we ultimately went with FI exhaust. I reached out to them a few months ago and talked to them about a potential partnership deal and FI or frequency intelligence. As most of you guys know, in the automotive industry, FI works with a lot of big name YouTubers as well as content creators. So similar to Active to work with my F80. I really wanted to work and partner with another exhaust company for the GTR and what better brand to work with than FI. I mean, most of you guys watching this video know who FI exhaust is and what some of their systems sound like on certain vehicles. They literally have an exhaust system for every make and model out there and they work with a bunch of big YouTubers. So I'm super happy, super blessed to be working with them for my GTR. And man, I can't wait to unbox this and show you guys what system we went with. And in the next video, we'll be installing this exhaust at WTF Motorsports. I already have my appointment scheduled with Curtis so can't wait let's go ahead and bring this inside of the garage and then unbox it for you guys Kona what do you think new exhaust Aston what do you think boy dad's got a new exhaust for the GTR let's go <laughs> even rocking the GTR shirt on you already know but I'm so glad this finally came in now let's go ahead and unbox it for you guys So we actually opted for FI's loudest exhaust system that they make for the GTR, and that is the ultimate power version. I'll insert a picture on the screen now of what it looks like. And yeah, that is the one that we went with. What makes it louder is it actually has a four inch mid pipe instead of a three and a half, I believe. So more airflow, more sound that gets to travel through. And this is a full cat back system. And there we have it. This is the ultimate power. It is a stainless steel system from FI. It already looks insane. It looks massive. Can't wait to get this installed and get you guys some sound clips. This is my first time working with an exhaust company outside of Active Auto Work, but I'm super excited to expand my networks and work with another amazing reputable company such as FI. This is actually the remote right here. We'll unbox for you guys. I think this is the wiring for the valve system. The next piece that I'm looking for is right here. These are the five inch tips right here. They're absolute cannons. And I actually opted for the burnt blue titanium finish, which I think is gonna complement the pearl white paint and the black wheels so nice. Everything came packaged nice and safe, as you guys can see, and shipping only took four business days. I believe the order was placed on Sunday or Monday, and it literally arrived to my house today on Friday. It's always a good Friday when a new exhaust system shows up to your house, you know what I mean? Well, let's go ahead show you guys oh my god yo it looks so insane <laughs> no way holy shit they're massive that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> And I think that burnt blue titanium is gonna look so nice on the white paint. It's gonna contrast so nicely. And of course, it's gonna look insane when we're shooting some massive flames out of these one day. <laughs> like, check it out. Even has the FI logo right there. I think most valve systems, you know, have their logo imprinted right here. And man, it looks so, so good. These tips are gonna stick out a lot more from the rear as well, which we'll show you guys in the next video. But man, <laughs> I can't get over it. Can't stop smiling. I'll probably have to leave the box at home when we take it to WTF next week, and we'll probably just have to put the exhaust in the car as much as we can. Let's go ahead and unbox the remote for you guys. Look at this packaging right here. Very nice quality. It says experience the passion of engineering. And right here we have the remote instructions and the super badass remote right there, you guys can see. And then this is the module that's gonna be controlling it, which we'll have wired throughout the car. Kona came back out to the garage, check on the exhaust. But yeah, we'll go ahead and unbox the axle back portion for you guys in just a little bit, which is going to be right here again i opted for the largest system that they had which was their 101 millimeter ultimate power system or upv and right there is part of the axle back system here is the y pipe and then the mid pipe is this big boy right here but before we finish the unboxing i actually pulled in the gtr and we're actually going to do some modifications to the rear end we're actually going to be installing these led lights that go above the license plate that my boy kirk from Motor Gear tv gave me as a gift when he came and revealed his g82 m4 and so these are going to replace these amber lights right above the license plate 
Again, a super small mod, but it's definitely gonna make a difference because the white LED is gonna look so much better in pictures and videos. So again, huge shout out to my boy Kirk at Motor Gear TV. Make sure you guys give them a follow. And the other mod or DIY I wanted to do today was actually I wanted to debadge the car and remove the Nissan badge from the trunk. This is something that I've been contemplating for about a month now. And I really think the rear end will actually look a lot cleaner without the Nissan badge. And I've actually seen a lot of people leave, you know, just the GTR badge on the trunk in the same placement that it comes from the factory, which I actually like right there. And then I've also seen a few owners move the GTR badge where the Nissan logo is. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. My heat gun's broken, so I'm gonna use my wife's hair dryer. And then we also have some 20 pound mono fishing line. I got an eraser wheel and some goo gone. And that's gonna help us debadge the Nissan logo. It's actually going a lot faster than I thought. Okay, well that only took like 10 seconds as you guys saw. And just like that, we are debadged, boys. Guy on YouTube made it seem like it was gonna take a lot longer than just like 20 seconds or whatever that was. But now we have Goo Gone as well as a Magic Eraser wheel. So I'll probably use a combination of both. Magic Eraser Wheel is a game changer. If you guys don't have one, it'll literally save your fingers and your nails from picking off any factory 3M. I remember my spoiler for my F80 was literally a pain. It took me like two hours, but this is a game changer. It doesn't scratch your paint. Even if I do have some micro scratches after this, I'll have our boy hands on detailing, buff it out, polish it out. So we'll be all good to go. It's crazy how much you can get off in just five short minutes. You guys can see there's barely any residual adhesive left. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some alcohol and a microfiber, get the rest of this off, check, it out it looks so so good so clean we got all the adhesive off all right next we're going to be replacing these two leds right here there's a clip on each side that you need to pinch in and then pull down at the same time it's actually a lot easier if you use a 90 degree pick tool just like so and as you can see here the light just comes down and we're going to just unsnap it right here and replace it with the new one Now I'm gonna go ahead and test it to make sure they work and I can show you guys what it looks like on the other side. Look at that bright white LED compared to the other side, which is that amber yellow that nobody likes. But look at that, it's literally blinding. It looks so good and it's gonna light up the license plate so nice. Again, shout out to my boy Kirk Famous, AKA one half of Motor Gear TV. This is a great gift from the homie for the GTR. We got the other side in now, and man, that looks so, so much better. Hell yeah, can't wait to see it at night. I'm gonna pull the car out just a little bit so you guys can see the finished picture, but now we have a fully debadged car. I think it looks so much more sporty, so much cleaner. And then we have these beautiful LED lights on the license plate frame. Looks absolutely amazing. Much cleaner if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Again, the white LEDs on the license plate look so clean as well. That's also gonna complement when we change out these yellow ones to the clear ones on the front bumper. We're gonna do that later on in a future video, but let me know what you guys think. This looks so good. But now let's get the axle back portion for the FI exhaust kind of lined up so we could take some pictures and videos for Instagram. Damn, son. Look at this exhaust system. This is insane. I'm so happy. Look at the quality and the finish. It's gonna look so good with these burnt titanium tips. Again, contrasting off the white. I opted for these over the black and the carbon because on my F80 M3, you couldn't really see the black or carbon fiber tips that we had. They kind of blended in with the diffuser. And I think these, since they're gonna stick out a little more, the blue titanium is really gonna pop on the pearl white paint. And yeah, just look at the finish of this exhaust. This is where the valves are on both sides. And then we have two small resonators slash mufflers right here. And that connects to this giant four inch mid pipe right here. It's absolutely insane. I can't wait to hear it. It's literally like Christmas. I have to wait a week. You guys probably have to wait one video. So stay tuned for next week's video. It's gonna be a banger. But shout out to Franks and the team over at FI for sending this out. Super excited to be working with them. Super excited about this partnership. And I can't wait to showcase this exhaust locally here in Orlando. And I can't wait to get some sound clips and show the boys and all that. But you guys see it right here. FI exhaust, 
ultimate power version and even has a serial number right there and i can't wait to just have full control with the remote opening and closing the valves for those of you guys who don't know the exhaust valves on the gtr is similar to the g80 it's rpm dependent and it stays open all the time in sport mode but it's still not loud enough for my own liking i want full controllability you know all the way open or all the way closed and what's cool about their system is not only can i control it with the remote i also can download the app that they have and control the valves with my phone but yeah i know i've said it a thousand times in this video i can't can't wait to put this on. This is one of the best mods you can do to any car. Exhaust, wheels, suspension will probably be next. So the big three is what I would call that. But yeah, we're going to be screaming very soon. And the funny thing is I actually almost went with their lower system, a more tame one, more quiet neighbor friendly one. But when I talked to the team at FI and they told me this 101 millimeter ultimate power version is the loudest, but it also has no drone when the valves are closed. That pretty much sold me because I want to be the loudest GTR on the street but I also wanna be able to close the valves and be neighbor friendly when I leave early in the morning, you know what I mean? Before we wrap this video up, let me show you guys the other pieces really quick. This is part of the four inch mid pipe. This thing is huge as you guys can see, and that's gonna to connect to this piece right here. This is gonna come down from the middle of the car and connect right here to the axle back portion. And then right here, we have the Y pipe, which actually connects to the down pipes, comes with new gaskets and hardware, so that's nice. And yeah, we're going to fit this into the GTR, get it ready for install tomorrow. And you guys will just have to stay tuned for next week's video to see how it sounds. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well for some sneak peeks. And huge shout out again to FI Exhaust. Make sure you guys follow them. All their information will be linked in the description below. I see you want to be on the vlog? <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next week's video. We're going to head to WTF Motorsports and work with Curtis. And we're going to install this FI Exhaust onto the GTR. I can't wait to have a full system on this car. It's going to sound so, so good. And I'm going to get some exhaust clips next weekend as well with some of the homies. So stay tuned. As always, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want to, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.